Hello, welcome to Street 342, a short video for today's class, today's class, because today would have been more of a discussion class with lots of fun videos. So make sure you head over to Moodle and check for links in our reading section that have today's date on them, where I'm going to post a couple of videos of some of the songs in particular that are mentioned in Michael Borda's Sayonara America, Sayonara Nippon. Um, chapter one is one of the chapters you were asked to read for today. I think this is a fascinating book, it's a really interesting book, um, and for me going through it, rather than kind of model through like how I would kind of go through the chapter, I kind of want to give you a couple of hints or a couple of tips on how I think you should approach it. First of all, I would just kind of read it start to finish, and, and if you're kind of getting a bit lost, well, who is this person, what's he talking about, don't worry about that too much, just kind of read through the whole thing with my advice to you, and then stop and think, does anything stick out, anything you want to kind of learn more about, or think more about, and I would go back into the chapter and kind of find those couple of pages, maybe you would have made notes on the way, or put little sticky notes or something on pages you're going through, things that confused you or you found particularly interesting, and focus in on them, and that's always a way to be thinking about um, books for history classes, like even if sometimes you'll get a book chapter or an entire book where you just love it, you click with it, it works beautifully, and, and, and you don't have to worry about how you're going to use it. Sometimes it's not quite that simple. Even if you find the topic interesting, you're not sure how to engage yet with how the author decided to treat it. And certainly this opening chapter, I think, has a lot of it makes more sense once you've read the whole book, um, and he's he's kind of he's talking about culture, but he's talking about lots kind of different kind of aspects of it. So I would kind of get into that, and I would kind of pick an aspect and think about it. I think the the main question, and this doubles up as a discussion question as well, is um, what do we gain from looking at the end of World War II in Japan as a cultural phenomenon, separate from a political and military phenomenon, not divorced from that phenomenon, but separate from that phenomenon. Um, and in particular, always read the beginning and end of chapters. And at the end of this chapter, he'll talk about this notion of liberation and a constant liberation and trying to understand liberation in different kinds of ways in the Japanese context. So be thinking about what your own kind of take on that is. And definitely um, have a look at some of those clips I'll be putting on to Moodle today. Thanks, everybody.